Hello everyone, my name is Fungusen and welcome back to this Imperator Rome. Purple Phoenix campaign, I think. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're trying to do some war profiteering here and it's not turning out as... Well, we did manage to, you know, at least sneak something out of that war. Oh, research is dead. Um... I was about to say, yeah, I, n I noticed something between the episodes, which I obviously should have realized, but, you know, having scorned families does decrease approval from the oligarchs. Um, I didn't bother checking that. I was just checking whether these ones were happy about it. But good news is that our glorious person here has become of, has come of age, and he's got an even more fantabulous 12 in military. Uh, unfortunately, he is a smelly democrat, but can't be helped. Well, we'll replace one smelly democrat for another one. There we go. Okay, someone else is scorned now. Oh, no, it was the same. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, guess we can replace oh, you then. Oh, I don't like doing that, but fine, I mean, it is better as well, and yeah, there we go. Uh, so that should keep them happy. Well, I sieged it down, but that's not going to help, so yeah. Head over there, um, where did I put my navy? Over here. You can head there-ish as well. We'll take you back. <clears throat> and then look at more better ways to war, which definitely at some point includes smashing Thrace or thrashing Thrace. There we go. Out you go. Okay. You have my moral support for this war, but nothing more. Well, I guess that means we can sort out some trade routes here then, uh, while we're at it. How about some... Um, we do have a few cities here, so it would be nice to get some noble happiness. A citizen happiness, I knew that. Cloth? Do you produce cloth? Not at the moment. Do you have anywhere that produces cloth? No. Okay. That's some fantastic Egyptian cloth. Okay. We need to keep the ruling class happy above all else. Um, none of these actually speak to me. Uh, no, not me doing that. We should probably look at changing some laws though. I mean, manpower recovery speed or just happiness. I think happiness, all of these things do sound pretty tasty as well. Um, to be perfectly honest, we're making a fantastic amount of money from trade. Uh, so yeah, and can we colonize this actually? No, not yet. We should get a pop-up, but I don't trust it completely. Also, we do want to finish this at least. Um, what are we? What's wrong here? Oh, is it too many slaves? Yes, well they are being promoted quite quickly. So that's fine, I guess. Um, what? No! That's silly. Why, why would I give them money? Uh, we can't move the capital because we're at war. Um, you are fine now. I mean, we should probably build up this place instead, since this is the capital region, so... Right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely... Um, Get you some more libraries up there. 
We will get the bonus for population output for the capital region more than any other region, so... Right, so, best way to go to war now... Um, have the claim soon enough. After that, I mean, if I were to go to war with you... It's an easy enough war. And you're allied to who again? To assume no one that matters. You, you... And Pontus, okay. Who's normally allied to Cappadocia. Yeah. Could steal all of this land for now. It's not a terrible, terrible idea. Get on the boats. Have you go over there. You have no troops. Should be easy enough. We'll just wait for the claims. I mean, we need to war. It's the best way to make money. And I mean, even you will be able to... attack quite a lot of this. So yeah, let's have you go over there. And we'll see. Nice siege engineers, loyalty of generals. All great. Because this war is going to... Oh, okay. What do you want now? Um, wow. Um, yeah, alright. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get the money back. Um... Okay, thought he was sailing over there, but yeah, this does make sense. Let's just make, <coughs> excuse me, let's just wait a month to make sure we are in, in the positive. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to be disloyal. I'll be fine. Not like you have any real power anyway. So yeah, declare war on you. You're going to call in some random people. I mean, we can call in these guys. I doubt they're going to do anything useful, but... Yeah, well, the Democrats aren't approving of me anyway, so... Okay, let's go over and get the war goal ASAP. And yeah, you can go and pick up these guys. I doubt you don't want to give me military access to you. No, what a surprise. And yeah, changing laws. Um, Monte corruption is pretty nice, to be perfectly honest. Um, anti parasitic CB. Tempted to go for this one. Although money. <laughs> Where is money? Money, economy. Uh, so if we look at our commerce, yeah, but how much is... Does it not tell you how much is incoming and how much is exporting and, and importing? No? Um, that's a bit annoying. Well, in that case, I mean, integrated culture happiness plus 5% is just pretty good in general. Let's see what have we got there. State religion happiness plus 4%. Uh, pop conversion speed. I do like pop conversion speed. Yeah, let's go with that. They are sieging down my poor, poor subject here. That's fine. Okay, and yeah, you as well. Get on the... Oh. Get on the boat. You'll get them back soon enough, don't worry. I 
Is this a port? No, it isn't. We are just being awful at sieging it compared to them, who... Or maybe they have multiple levels? Nope, we're just awful at sieging. Very well. Now we should be able to assign you back. Well. Come on, you can do it. Um, yeah, we do want to get the extra siege engineers as soon as we have enough money, which, if you look at that, is now. Thank you. Now, do you have any cities? You do have one city there, and probably have some other cities over here. Nope. Oh, well. We will take everything anyway, so. Um, but we... Probably for now should put someone actually decent in charge. Like you. Since you are an oligarch. Because by the time we get up there we should have enough time. Because this siege is apparently, you know, well, I could actually blockade it. Uh, it's taking forever. Really? Well, you are reasonably big, but yeah, I was more thinking wah rather than wo, but okay, there we go. Uh, we have a good army, they have terrible troops. Question is, what are they going to run? I think we'll go with bottleneck here. And worst case, yeah, he's running away. It's kind of as expected. Our vassal for a ducat. While our own nation is struggling to find the funds, we do not struggle. Our vassal, Bosporan Kingdom, have a lot of gold to spare under the leadership of yada yada yada. We we'll propose demanding aid from our vassal. Would certainly be an unpopular move among our vassals. Um, they lose 30 opinion. They lose. Ah, uh, no. We. we... We're not actually struggling. Just because we don't have the liquidated funds at the moment doesn't mean that we are, you know, in a horrible, horrible deficit. We're doing fine. But yeah, the amount of force here is kind of annoying, though, to say the least. I wonder if it would be worth um, going and sieging this back after thing is, I don't want to leave my armies isolated at the moment. And there we go. <sighs> I could do this. I mean, I'm tempted to do it just to see. I presume they're still going to... We're not going to need the support right now. Where are we? Ah, oh, screw it. Ah, we're still fine. Ah, okay. You are locked. Um, you are not really going to help that much, but... Okay, we have a negative two modifier. Um, I think we will be okay, though. I think... I think we'll be okay if you could actually get there at some point this year. Thank you. Okay, this is an awful, awful battle. He's just fighting with donkeys. I think the AI might ex. <coughs> Exaggerate slightly the number of donkeys required for um, moving around their armies, or maybe there were just a tiny, uh, several tiny, tiny armies, in which case it would make sense. So, alright. Well, we'll let this army recover. Oligarchs are now in control, giving the following national noble happiness. Fantastic. Uh, they also have the following objective, bestowment, which is what? I'm not keen on doing that. 
See, this is a more sensible thing. The territory of Sinope has at least one temple. I can do that. In fact, I will gladly do this. Here, Sinope. You can definitely have a temple. That's how kind I am. Okay. You should not be there. You should be researching. Actually, you're f well, it depends on what faction are you. Well, you're better than a Democrat, so yeah, let's put you there. You are actually pretty terrible. Um, yeah. Have anyone else who is glorious there? No? Okay, you can stay. Um... Of course, I can't remember what this one does. I think they should tell you. <laughs> um, well, let's put charge there. Oh, Freeman Happiness. Yeah. Not super worried. Um, let's just check here. If we have any um, oligarchs like you. Sure. Okay, uh, loyalty of generals sounds fine. Finishing a siege would be even better. So manpower wise, uh, we're okay. Right. And I think we'll go, let's go with Morale Armies for now. <clears throat> Minor amendum, six stability for temple political influence. I think we'll take that, yes. Okay. All is well. If you could just finish the siege. Now, this doesn't actually have any donkeys, but these are archers, so they barely eat anything anyway. We're just starving them. Right. Did I already take siege engineers or is it hidden behind something? It probably is. No, it isn't. I already took it. Right. Just finish the siege. This war is going to take forever and a half. Okay. I can't get there, but yeah, let's get you in position to actually help out. Where's my navy? Oh, did I lose a battle against the navy? It certainly looks like it. Well, we do have a mission to actually build a navy, so we'll need to get that done at some point anyway. Wait, well, we're actually on that mission now, so... We should get that sorted. Yeah, let's just wait a couple of months and see if we can get some more uh, money, so we have a bit of a buffer. In okay, partisans of the traditionalists are practically falling over each other to congratulate Archon Ronald for defending their interest in the bull. Yeah, yeah, see. If you're not making ridiculous demands, then we can work this out perfectly sensibly. Right, what do you people want now? You want nothing. You want Bosporan to be an integrated culture. Okay, so you like having... should be... Um, Osporan, um, right, culture. Well, it's not a great culture. I'm already integrating something, aren't I? Yeah, Macedonian. How? What's the progress? It is already oh, it already got integrated. I missed that. I would assume I would get a um, pop-up of it. 
or the country of this culture. Yeah, okay, so we are getting um, negative impact of this now because of the number of integrated cultures. I don't know. I'm not sure whether this is worth it. Um... We can gain some corruption. Oh, did I not pick the corruption option? Oh no, I did. Um, that's tyranny, not corruption. It's fine. We do still have the thing that makes us lose corruption anyway, so... We're fine. Uh, each party agenda. Well, does it cost us money here? No. Okay. Right, he's coming in again. Can we scare him off? I found to be quicker than they are as well. Well, we should win this. Eventually. Unfortunately, we're flanking with heavy cavalry, which is not ideal, but then again, they're charging in with... Well, it's only three donkeys this time. Okay, and you are locked in. It will arrive on the 3rd of July. If I march out, I will be gone on the 7th of July. Yeah, that's fine then. We'll greet you with open arms. Thank you. And we want tribute income. We're not getting anything because monthly civilization changed. Yes, natural manpower, cost of DFI ruler. Mm, we might look at doing that in the future as well. Increases conversion speed if I'm not mistaken or I have changed that. Well, it used to at least, so I'm only mistaken if they have changed that. Okay, there we go. That's that sorted. So now... We have a few different options. It might be worth going and trying and siege down these guys and see if we can... Get them out of the war. We need to... Yeah, we do need to siege down that. That's a bit frustrating, but okay. Let's go with that. Um, or we could just finish off this one. Let's see, can we put... how good are we now? We're actually pretty good, so yeah. Before something else awful happens, let's go and siege down this guy and see if we can get them out of the war. I mean, we should rescue our poor, you know, siege down subject as well, but... Well... Who else am I at war with now? Fenian Revolt. Oh, really? I kind of prefer to um, have just pieced them out and giving me all the land. Right, manpower. Yeah, we're okay. Freaking pirates. Right, there was. Uh, Navy, if you want to start to work on. Um, for the moment, though, <clears throat> we do have extra horses. I don't think there's anything that increases population in the same way as it used to. We can't get any dice. Cloth we have. Marble. We do not have marble at the moment. Earth and where we do have... Hemp, same with glass. Okay, let's start working on marble. And we're only one trade route away from, you know, fulfilling the actual achievement, which is the first of our goals. Okay. Not liking that, though. Also, I'm kind of tempted to swap these around. 
just so that we have the heavy infantry actually beating down their troops. Uh, so I think we'll do that. Uh, but apart from that, I'm going to finish this episode here. So next one, we should hopefully... I, I could speed this up, uh, I guess, a bit. Uh, but yeah, next episode, we should be able to conquer the majority of this. It is not going to get us into any other region, so we should be fine. Alright, so always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!